Hello and welcome back. Sandy and Jesse Rodriguez team. On my continuing videos or continuing rather continuing presentations, this one will be a continuing from uh, the yesterday's video on uh, in this case maybe myself serving as an example to others uh, but sometimes uh, not to do or be sometimes you know we go along day to day and uh, uneventful then all of a sudden we get that one call or an event happens and seems to turn everything everything upside down I've, I've had that lately uh, is uh, if, if I share with you I've had uh, surgery doing very well on uh, on my left eye it was for that uh, trigium but I have uh, two other surgeries coming up sometime back in May I had had a physical uh, I had postponed it for quite a while uh, once we get to a certain age it's a recommendation you do that once a year or more frequent I had uh, prolonged and I finally decided well it's time I need to get my annual physical done as I was going through uh, my surgery and they had me in the recovery room the nurses were somewhat uh, concerned because my uh, blood pressure was uh, rather high. So they asked me, so are you on any medications? Any medications? Or they said no. Uh, started asking me, uh, you know, a lot of medical questions, and no. And they were somewhat surprised that at, at my age I had not been on any medications, and I had not. Although I had been noticing my blood pressure was not where, you know, if you ever monitor your blood pressure, you know that there are certain levels, certain levels that they recommend that it should be. So once the nurses told me they were concerned, that bothered me too. So I said, I better do something about it. So again, one of those things happens, I got a call. It was from the doctor's office. It was to remind me I had a follow-up to go over the results. Yes, I went uh, today to the doctor's office. Don't forget now, I'm serving as an example to all of you. Take your physical if you need to on an annual basis. Two big things the doctor found was, yes, uh, blood pressure. Blood pressure needs to be uh, taken care of. So I'll be on a prescription starting today already. Took my first pill. And second, which is also rather uh, alarming, she had uh, noticed a murmur in my heart when she was doing my exam. So uh, I underwent various tests with a heart specialist. Quite, in, quite intensive, if I may share with you, quite intensive test. The results show that uh, there were some problems with one of my uh, uh, chambers or veins n uh, near my heart and also with the arteries in my neck, uh, cholesterol. And I told the doctor, because she started challenging me, you know, if I'm going to, what kind of a diet, I said, doctor, I eat a lot of vegetables, fruits, and watch, you know, not that much meat. They eat a lot of chicken, turkey, and uh, so she said it's probably, uh, you know, due to uh, family history. So, yes, I got my second prescription on the high cholesterol. Uh, right now it's uh, the uh, the bad cholesterol, the, I believe it's, they call it the LDL. It's over 200, so our goal, or my goal, is to get it down to below 100. So, to summarize, what 
what lesson may you learn from me? As an example to some of you as my friends, the business associates, your health, our health is very important. Other people depend on us. So don't prolong, don't put it off. And somehow it, some of those gentlemen out there listening to me, uh, yes, I've had that exam that we guys don't like to talk about it in circles. But uh, I've had that, uh, that exam too. And no problem. But I had it done. So, learn from me. As an example to you all, take care of your health. So you don't get caught with some surprises. So, your comments. See what you think about uh, how you're taking care of your health, your annual physical exam. So this is Sandy and Jesse Rodriguez. We bid you a good evening and take good care of each other. Bye now.